The capacity of a process can be thought of as the amount of work that it can do or output that it can produce within a certain time period. Consider a printer that is connected to my computer. This printer prints only in black and white. The manual says it can print a maximum of 25 pages per minute. So I say that the capacity of this printer is 25 pages per minute. Now let us talk about the capacity of another kind of equipment, namely the computer that is connected to my printer. I am working on a research paper. I have been sitting in front of my computer for over an hour now. Finally, what do I have to show for it? Well, I started out with three pages, but now I have only two pages. I deleted more than I wrote. What do you know? My computer's capacity is actually negative one page per hour. And that's even without a virus attack. Next, I see you typing up some of your class notes into your computer. I must say you are a fast typist. It looks like you are able to type at a speed of 62.5 words per minute. Figuring that an average double space page has about 250 words, your computer is producing one page every four minutes. So your computer's capacity is a quarter of a page per minute. Wow, it looks like you have a super fast computer compared to mine. What computer do you have? I think I should get the same kind. Next, suppose I visit a copy center and see an employee there using a computer. It's not a very fancy computer, just a regular PC, and that too, a year old. I'm curious, it can't be too fast. How can they conduct their business with that slow computer? As I watch, the employee opens a 500 page document and sends it to the printer in less than a minute. Whoa! Now that is one super duper fast computer. It has a capacity of 500 pages per minute. You know what? I think you and I should both dump our computers and get that kind of computer, even if it's a year old. As you can see from this example, it doesn't seem to be a good idea to talk about a computer's capacity in terms of pages per minute. Instead, it makes much more sense to talk in terms of processor speed, memory size, hard drive size, video card, etc. These different resources can be configured to produce different quantities of different outputs according to different needs. For a printer that does the same thing over and over, pages per minute makes sense. Similarly, for a line flow process, that produces the same outputs over and over, we can express capacity in terms of the outputs produced per time period. On the other hand, for a flexible flow process that can be used to do different things at different times, we express capacity in terms of the resources or inputs available. These inputs can be configured to produce different quantities of different outputs. Next, Consider my computer and printer when they are linked together. What is the capacity of my printing process that uses this combination of equipment? Since I'm going to use this process specifically for printing, I can think about capacity in terms of pages per minute. My computer can send a 500 page document to the printer in a flash. So its printing capacity is 500 pages per second or 30,000 pages per minute. Meanwhile, my printer's capacity is only 25 pages per minute. My printing process can only go as fast as the slowest part of my combined process. My printer is the bottleneck in this process, which limits the capacity of the entire process. Likewise, for any process that involves multiple steps, the slowest step forms the bottleneck. The capacity of the overall process is limited to the capacity of the bottleneck step.